All right, guys, here we have Black Noir from The Boys. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Eva on A4, back with another action figure review. And today, we are looking at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series, Snake Eyes and Timber Alpha Commandos. So this is a standalone deluxe release. It's actually really easy to obtain, and that's hard to believe because this line has been nothing but uh, difficult to obtain. <laughs> Um, so you can actually order this thing off multiple websites right now, and I'm sure you'll see him in stores as well. But Big Bad Toy Store actually has him in stock, or had him in stock, or they're shipping out pre-orders. So be sure to check the link down below for a chance to get yours shipped out. You know, if you order it now, it's possible because they did ship mine, as you can see. Sometimes they do ship pre-orders, even though the listing on the website still says pre-order. Um, they might have it in stock. So this is how Snake Eyes is packed in with Timber. There is the side and they are still numbering this as the regular you know, line. So this is number 30. Um, and then here is the side art. Eh, nothing really going on here but we got Timber on the bottom. Snake Eyes at the top. Kind of hard to show that. And then here is the back side with a big enlarged poster that we've been seeing you know, on the back side of all of our G.I. Joe Classified series figures. To be honest, this box is actually larger than I anticipated. I didn't expect it to be this big. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's kind of the size of two figures, single figures, and a little bit smaller. Alright, so here we have it. Here is Snake Eyes with his companion here, Timber. So, this box set retails for 40 bucks, which means 20 bucks per piece is how I see it, per, per figure, I guess you should say. So 20 bucks for Snake Eyes and 20 bucks for our timber here. So before people start going crazy and complaining about how we're getting a figure and a half or a figure and an accessory for 40 bucks, calm your tits, okay? Calm down. It is uh, not what it looks like. This is pretty much a, an, another figure. Hasbro uh, did their thing here on this timber figure. It is probably one of the most articulated um, animal figures I've seen or dogs that I've seen made at least for a uh, domestic line like Hasbro. We'll look into that in a second. Um, first let's take a look at all the accessories that we get with this $40 two-pack. So for Timber we get an alternate head. So of course this is a more angry, more aggressive expression compared to the one that comes packed in it, which is calm, as you see right there. That's all we're gonna get for Timber. It's all we really need for Timber. So, I'm fine with that. And then we get a load of weapons here for Snake Eyes. So first up, I don't know the names of these guns. So please, um, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, here is this weapon, uh, removable magazine. I like this, that they're doing this now. It's a little warped for me because it was warped in the package, but I like the removable magazines that they've been doing for our G.I. Joe figures. Hopefully they implement that to Marvel Legends too. It's just cool. It's a cool little uh, neat feature. It's not necessary, but I'll take it. It is awesome. Here is this assault rifle. And all these guns are all black. Wish they were more detailed. Yes, I do wish, but they're not. Um, come on, you either want paint or you want a removable magazine. I don't know. Which one do you prefer? But there's that. And then we get... A, I think this is an Uzi or a mini Uzi or just a regular Uzi or I don't know. I'm not going to try. This does not remove, unfortunately. So, there's that. Then, we get a pistol. Just a regular pistol. The magazine does not remove, okay? It's too small, so it's okay. Then we do get a silencer or a suppressor, I should say. So it can plug into this gun. Pretty good. Uh, it does not plug into this gun at all which it does have a peg hole though so if you have a effect you can make it work all these have peg holes so that's cool does not plug into this gun though uh, as for the pistol it's a little hard to get it in there i don't know if i can i feel like i'm gonna break it i'm sure you can though because i don't see why you can't put it on this pistol i'm sure it's meant for the pistol if anything because of the peg oh there you go god it looks like it was gonna break so it went through it was actually bending the tip of the barrel and it was getting, you know, stress. It's getting white plastic, which means it's about to break. So I was kind of scared. And then last but not least, we have a Bowie knife, which actually has paint, which is dope. We have a kind of metallic silver paint for the blade. 
uh, we'll take it. Those are all your accessories for this pack. Alright, here's a closer look at Snake Eyes, and clearly the head sculpt is different than our original classic looking, normal looking Series 1 <laughs> Snake Eyes figure. And uh, this is just different. It's a Alpha Commando version. So, it's a different Snake Eyes. I feel like uh, this is only the beginning for Snake Eyes release. This is our, what, third release, counting the movie Snake Eyes figure for Snake Eyes already. Um, and I think we're getting another one, which is a Fortnite version. So, yes, expect a lot of Snake Eyes figures in the future for this line. Anyways, there's your close look. You can see the torso, all the texture, all the detail, all the sculpt looking great. For the most part, it's all black, of course. You're not really going to get too much paint detail, but the plastic uh, of the figure compared to the vest and all the attached pieces is slightly different so it gives it like this two-tone black color so I'll take it looks cool just like how the uh, the visor there is a darker black than the rest of the head um, you know makes all the difference there's all the little pouches and slots looks like we can slot in our Bowie knife let's go ahead and do that right now so we can slide this dude in here just like that and then we get a little circular slot which I would assume is for the suppressor if you want to uh, holster that let's get it in there yeah so the series one snake eyes did that so that's cool then we get the pistol slot right there and that's about it you're not really gonna holster your other three guns now if you saw my previous review before this it was on the breaker and ram cycle um, figure and I Mentioned how that came with no guns for himself except for the big old gallon gun, which I don't really count. I wanted him to have like a little small gun, a, ri a rifle or a pistol. This is kind of cool for that because you have all these extra guns with this snake eyes that you can give one of these guns to that breaker figure to hold while he's on the bike, make him look more badass than what he already does. So, just an idea what to do with your extra weapons. But, anyways, there's your close shot. Let's take a close shot at Timber now. There is our goodest of boys here, and the paint is phenomenal. Good job, Hasbro. Jeez, that is great. Look, look at the detail. Looks very, very well done. And that's all throughout. And as you can see, as we're taking a closer look, all the articulation points on this figure because it is awesome this is super articulated for a dog it's very nice actually i've been calling him a dog and he's a wolf i'm sure somebody already typed in the comments chill okay chill i know you want attention but chill it's not necessary it's a wolf sorry guys sorry but here's the alternate head let's get it in there harder because it just came off but i'm definitely going to display this figure with the aggressive head on because it's just so awesome i mean how are you not going to use this head sculpt that looks so dope. They did such a great job with this face sculpt. Got the scar there. So there's a look at him with the aggressive face. Alright, so while we're on Timber, we might as well just get to the articulation of Timber first because honestly that's what I'm more excited for. Uh, so let's take a look at the head. The head sits on a ball jointed peg. Uh, left and right, about this far. It's nothing insane. I wish you would have looked left and right a little bit more. Uh, the neck is also articulated, so you can kind of swivel the neck like this. Just a tad bit inside to side, and not really, but the fur sculpt really gets in the way of him looking left and right, which is understandable. Really no way around that. So, there's that. The head can kind of do this thing too, which will tilt it. He looks up and looks down. So there's that. You can see here, he's got like a diaphragm joint at the torso or the, you know, the middle of his body. So you can bend it side to side check that definitely can wag his tail um, forward and back about like that and then we get these you know like a swivel there a lot of squeakiness very tight but it's articulated like crazy so it's pretty dope so going down to the arms or the legs I should say they're all ball jointed um, joints there uh, so they move forward of course all the way forward uh, and they move all the way down like this in and out you saw, I mean, pretty good range to be honest. Um, and then we get the uh, the elbows, which have hinges, forward and, uh, it's kind of back. Uh, there's a swivel at that elbow. Then we get 
like these double wrist joints because dogs have these double wrist joints so they bend forward wherever you want to technically that's how they're supposed to bend like that they do bend both ways and then we get the hinge at the paw or the paw wrist forward and back pretty deep to be honest and then there is like a rocker there like as if it was an ankle rocker so that goes for all of the feet and all of the uh, legs uh, for the hind legs here we have the bend at the knee goes forward you can straighten out the, the leg there and then we got the bend at this part of the leg so it goes forward like this and goes back then we get the same foot articulation as we saw and of course the tail is on a hinge here you can swivel it left and right so pretty dope in my opinion super articulated timber figure it's not a statue it's not a you know static accessory it's very nice i like it as for the eyes of snake here we have a ball jointed uh what is it hinge ball jointed hinge so he looks up about that high looks down about that low the neck is a articulated neck so that helps with the movement goes left and right a little bit of a head tilt Arms will rotate all the way around, forward and back, in and out. We have butterfly joints at the shoulders. We have a bicep swivel. Double jointed pinned elbows swivel at the wrist with a hinge. There would be an ab crunch underneath there, but we have that vest that is uh, not removable unless you cut it out. So, not really going to do much there, but we do get the ball jointed waist. So that swivels and goes forward and back, tilts a little bit. Good to drop down to join the legs, goes forward and back, in and out. Thigh swivel, double jointed pinned knees, shin swivel at the boot cut, and we got the ankle hinge forward and back, ankle rocker, and there you have it. And so for our height comparisons, of course, I'll put it next to Series 1 Snake Eyes, and there's your look there. It looks like the Alpha Commando version is a little bit taller, so that's interesting. Here's a look at him next to the uh, recently reviewed Breaker Target Exclusive comes with the ram cycle so check out that review if you missed out there he is next to the major blood target exclusive figure and then next to flint and then here is a look at him next to beachhead which is also a target exclusive figure and here he is next to the movie snake eyes figure and then we have him next to the movie version of barones just kidding just kidding baroness and then last movie figure here is storm shadow I mean, this is just my quick attempt of trying to get Timber kind of like in a walking pose or kind of like a you know prouncing galloping around pose a little bit got the paw mid-air about to step on it uh, you know I'm pretty excited to see how people you know, pose this figure up I think it's we're gonna see a lot of realistic looking poses for this Timber I'm still playing with it but um, overall maybe if I turn the body this way so you see, maybe something like this, the other way around, maybe have this leg mid-air, have more of his weight, you know, on the front end of the body, looks like he's walking. So, definitely cool, I love the articulation on Timber, definitely one of the best things about this two-pack, to be honest. And then we have Snake Eyes, another Snake Eyes, if you don't want the Snake Eyes, you can always have Series 1 Snake Eyes next to this Timber. But here's just a, a quick pose with him reloading his weapon, one thing I like about those uh, removable magazines that's all it does I mean you could do a reloading pose simple vanilla reloading pose looks pretty dope to me so that's gonna wrap things up on this video review of the deluxe two pack the alpha commando snake eyes and timber two pack hopefully you guys enjoyed this review thankfully this was a regular release easily obtainable online so no headaches with this one I wish they would do this with every release or most of them at least and i'm sure many others would agree with me so leave a like comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you haven't done so already as always everyone take care and have a great day bye that's crispy